Love Horse, founded in 2005. In this video, we'll embark on an exciting journey through the captivating history of Western saddles. We'll dive into their origins, structure, and various component parts. So, saddle up and let's ride through the history of these amazing equestrian tools. The story of Western saddles begins in the rugged landscapes of the American West. These saddles were designed with the needs of cowboys and ranchers in mind, combining durability, comfort, and functionality for long hours spent in the saddle. It's thought that the Western saddle's design was heavily influenced by the saddles used by the Spanish conquistadors, who brought their equestrian traditions to the New World. The Moorish-style saddles used by the Spanish were adapted to suit the demands of the American West, resulting in the birth of the Western saddle. To gain a deeper understanding of the origins of Western saddles, we need to journey back in time and examine the historical influences and events that shaped their development. The Western saddle's evolution is a fascinating tale of cultural exchange, adaptation, and innovation. Spanish influence and the Vaquero tradition. The roots of the Western saddle can be traced back to the Spanish conquistadors, who arrived in the Americas in the late 15th century. These skilled horsemen brought with them their own equestrian culture, including the use of Moorish-style saddles. As they explored and settled in the New World, they needed to adapt their riding equipment to better suit the challenging terrain and working conditions. The Spanish influence on the Western saddle is evident in the early Vaquero tradition, which began in Mexico and later spread to the American Southwest. The Vaqueros were skilled horsemen and cattle herders who developed a unique set of riding and roping techniques. The saddles used by the Vaqueros were an adaptation of the Spanish Moorish saddle, designed to provide better support and functionality for long days spent working with livestock. The Mexican Saddle The Mexican saddle, or, Silla Chara, is a precursor to the modern Western saddle. It features a high pommel and cantle, providing the rider with extra security and comfort. The Mexican saddle also incorporated a horn, a key feature of today's Western saddles. The horn was initially used for dallying ropes when catching cattle, a practice that later became integral to the American cowboy tradition. The American frontier and the cowboy culture. As settlers moved westward in the United States, they encountered the Vaquero tradition and adopted many of its elements. The Western saddle continued to evolve, incorporating features that suited the unique challenges of the American frontier. The development of the Western saddle was heavily influenced by the needs of cowboys and ranchers, who required a sturdy, comfortable, and functional saddle for long hours in the saddle. Key features such as the tree, fenders, and stirrups were adapted to better suit the rugged landscape and the demands of cattle work. For example, the saddle tree was designed to distribute the rider's weight more evenly, preventing discomfort for both horse and rider during long days of work. Fenders were lengthened to protect the rider's legs from chafing against the horse's sides, while stirrups were made larger and more durable. The Western Saddle in Modern Times While the Western Saddle has come a long way from its early origins, many of the core design elements remain largely unchanged. Modern Western Saddles continue to prioritize comfort, support, and functionality, with the added benefits of contemporary materials and construction techniques. Today's Western saddles are made with a variety of materials, including synthetic fabrics, which are lightweight and easy to maintain. The saddle tree, once made exclusively from wood, is now also available in fiberglass, plastic, or a combination of these materials, providing more options for riders seeking specific qualities in their saddle. Advancements in technology have also allowed for a wider range of customization options, enabling riders to find a saddle that perfectly suits their individual needs and preferences. From custom tooling and decorative elements to adjustable rigging systems and innovative stirrup designs, the modern Western saddle offers riders an unparalleled level of personalization and functionality. Structure of Western Saddles Western saddles are built for long hours in the saddle and are designed to provide maximum comfort and security for the rider. Key features of Western saddles include The tree is the internal structure that provides the saddle's shape and serves as the foundation for the rest of the saddle. It's typically made of wood, fiberglass, or a combination of both. The cantle is the raised, curved portion at the back of the saddle. It provides support for the rider's lower back and helps keep them secure in the seat. Located at the front of the saddle, the pommel is the raised, rounded part that provides a secure handhold for the rider. 
The seat is the area where the rider sits. It's usually designed with a slight dip for added comfort. Fenders are the long, flat pieces of leather that hang down from the saddle sides. They protect the rider's legs from chafing and help keep them secure in the stirrups. Stirrups are the metal or wooden loops that the rider places their feet in for support and balance. The horn is a prominent feature of Western saddles, used for gripping or attaching ropes when working with livestock. In conclusion, the history of Western saddles is a fascinating tale that spans centuries and continents. From the Spanish conquistadors to the cowboys of the American West, these saddles have evolved to meet the needs of riders in various equestrian disciplines. Whether you're a seasoned equestrian or simply a history buff, the story of Western saddles is sure to captivate your imagination. Visit our website at www.lovehorse.co.uk.